What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two of our Celestia Gilded League. We have another Celestia Guild Gate and literally no white cards or green cards in this pack other than Intrusive Pack Beast. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Chemistler's Insight is nice, Price of Fame is nice, and Thoughtbound Phantasm is nice. So is Watcher. Uh, maybe we just audible into Demir now. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Uh, but I'm not trying to break even or positive. I'm just trying to play Magic, so you got to consider that too. Sometimes people like playing Magic. This will be our Celestia deck. Let's make a new one. Demir. Because you just want to play Demir anyway, right? So I don't think we have enough for it. Muse Drake, Muse Drake, Chemister, Watcher, Deadly. Uh, can we splash green? We have a guild gate. We have a, yeah, we can do that. So we can play you, play this giant, play both of these and the predator and the beast whisperer. Don't care about spinal centipede, but it's probably fine as a three drop. Also, this is a two, two for three that gets pumped. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Nope, 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 nope. Are we just playing Soul Tie? Such is obvious. Demir Locket. Erstwhile, this guy is a 2 2 discard a creature card against plus 2 plus 2 against Trample. It's not terrible. Dark Blade Agent is pretty nuts, though. Lazav, good one. It's a 1 3 for 2. It's probably just great. Eh, also fine. This is 21 cards. We still get more. Um, this card's fine. Whispering Snitch is fine, considering the amount we should be surveilling, perhaps. None of these other cards seem great. Does one image each opponent, each opponent discards a card, then puts stop. Yeah, then don't care about that. Necrotic Wound, don't care about you. And we can just play all of these. Is there anything we... I mean, I would love to play this, but it's double white. So is Divine Visitation. Gruesome Menagerie could be good, but we don't have any one drops and we have very few... Two, like getting a two and a three drop back is not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, none of these cards are super standing out for me. Uh, I don't think the curve. I don't think you're using lockets solely for the curve. I think you're also using them um, for so you can still play a four drop on turn four if you want to play a guild gate. And you can also just draw two cards in the late game, which is not bad. Having a delayed divination is pretty good. It's tempting to play Urban Utopia just to fix our mana. And it also, like, cycles. I don't like this guy being a double green card, but... Yeah, this guy's probably too greedy. So what do we play instead? None of the lockets. I think we're, I think we're good on lockets. We're good on popping and lockets. Um, this is, this is like a, like the most baseline Demir deck, just because we're we're playing the only only the cards we have. Oh oh, I didn't even see this guy. Yeah, that's great. But it still looks better than our Celestia deck, which is pretty comical. No artifacts, right? Uh, no. All right, so. Sort by color. Seems reasonable. This is one, two. This is four green sources for three green cards. Yeah, that's fine. Six. So we have one, two, three, eight versus six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. This is ten. Yeah, we can actually go one less here and one more here. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's fine. I 
Also still have 18 creatures. Still a lot of creatures. Necrotic Wound could actually be decent. But it's so bad, like, until you actually have all those creatures in the graveyard. I will play first, 100% of the time. And seems good. I will keep it. Any blue or black is just perfect. We get to play everything. Busted makes me feel good. It feels like your favorite guild is almost too good. Blue or black, blue or black, blue or black, blue or black. Oh, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, that's awkward. If we draw three blue or black lands in a row, it's okay. This guy gets to come down. Right now, this forest is looking pretty sad. Man, where is the negative one, negative one to all creatures? Wow, two forests in the deck. We hit both of them. Exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. Demir Gilgate number two off the top. Well, we're not blocking any of these things. Why is it lagging like this? Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. One, two. What is this lag? I'm not a fan of it. I'm going to restart Magic Online to see if that solves the problem. I don't know if it will, but I guess we'll find out. All right. Quit. Yes, I know MTG leaks, but like that's that hasn't been a problem for a long time actually. I wonder if I can undo because I, I can. All right, that's nice, that's nice. That's nice. Um, just gonna play this guy, I suppose. Okay, so what we can do is kill one of these guys, which is pretty bad, pretty bad value-wise, but then we get to draw a card, which is nice. We could also use this to fight one of them. Hmm. I think it's probably this. I want to kill this guy, I think, because I don't care about the Vigilance, I do care about the First Strike. I don't want either of these. Maybe I want the Swamp just so I can play Night Veil Predator next turn. Put that in the graveyard. I'll keep that.
So you block here. That just doesn't seem like great value, but I guess we can. It's. I guess it's fine. Oh, there's taking a million. That guy's pretty small right now. Well, not small, but he just doesn't deal anything. You can also fight here and then just attack for five. They have two lands, though, so I'm not feeling... Oh, Sacred Foundry. Fancy... Actually, should have played Predator. Then we can have a 4 4 floater. I love magic. Oh, yeah. I know, dude. I'm, I'm 1 2 right now. Trust me. We've all been there. Am I. Yep. I wish we had the one damage to everything. It would kill three out of those four creatures that we just saw. But yeah, you can see we had no creatures in the graveyard. So if at any point we drew a necrotic wound, it just would be blank. This hand seems pretty keepable. Actually, I think we go turn three centipede into turn four dark blade with a guild mages forum, so we can actually draw some draw some plus one plus one counters, if you know what I mean. Two drop. Mm, that's a two drop if it's legendary. <laughs> oh boy. Rob Coil Engine, long time no see, buddy. Why do you forsake me so? Flavored Crustin makes me feel good. Wow. Wow. All right, we're going to take it. If they played Tajik, well, they wouldn't do that because he's he's a uh, hasty boy. Oh, jumpstart, eh? Um, have risk factor deal four damage to you? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> that card seems great. Of course, that's a rigor. That card seems insane. And it's an instant, too. My goodness. My goodness. Yum. Hey, that's just the Red Robin song. I know. I'll take another four. All right. Two risk factors. Seems good. Okay, you're being real grumbly right now. You're being real, real, real noisy. What's the problem? Can I help you? What's your deal? Can you shake? You did good. You did good.
So we take eight more if we don't let them draw cards, I guess. All right, take it easy. You're being ridiculous right now. Hmm. And now he's gone. Look at little Hunter Mike. <laughs> so I guess we just play this. And just get in there for three, I guess. At some point, we're just going to like let them draw 17 cards, I imagine. They have missed two land drops. Well, one land drop now, I guess. Well, I gave them a target because I uh, I made it bigger. I uh, guess I got greedy. Eight to twenty-one. Pretty sure we're just playing this guy and Whispering Snitch here. This is Jumpstart, not Surveil. But actually, that guy doesn't do much on the board. I, maybe I'll just draw two here. Keep up Price of Fame. I don't know. That seems fine, I guess. Like, we can Chemister's Insight into Snitch and Price of Fame next turn. I'm probably just going to let them draw three if they want to discard one. This hawk is really doing doing the damage here. We we've taken eight from this, so the hawk has dealt us like five damage now. Uh, have they draw three? Nope. You can have your cards this time. Wow, browbeat with jumpstart is pretty nuts. Uh, I guess I'll just keep taking one. Oh, well, now we're just playing Snitch and Muse Drake, I bet. I just want to go to my draw step. One, two, three, four. Musrake blocks all your things, so that's cool. I like I like blocking things. And a little snitchy. Come on, centipede. Do your worst. Or do your best. Do everything. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good.
they did make a card cheaper, and I'm probably just going to in-drink it. In, in, in-drink it. In-drink it. This is a rare? Oh, man, I thought this was an uncommon. This is not rare-worthy, man. That's bad. That makes me sad that it's one of our rares. Yeah, the surveil might be nice. We can do multiple things if we don't do that, I guess. The problem is price of fame, price of fame kills everything, and this also gets a 4-4 on the board, so I'm more inclined to do that. I'm going to keep this guy back because they could just triple block, gain three, and uh, this guy dies. You think this is too powerful and uncommon? Really? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you're playing off curve and it only affects multicolored creatures, which is pretty narrow. That is a hasty boy. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, am I really in a position to price of fame this guy? Probably. <laughs> Feels bad, though. No, risk factor should definitely be a rare. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. You can triple block here, double block here rather. Seems fine. Yep. No. Yes. Okay. So we can play Veiled Shade. Keep up Price of Fame. And also keep up Chemister's Insight if we need to. Might just block here if we don't have a threat. Kind buds, what's going on? Week was pretty good, no complaints. Risk factor. Uh, having them deal four damage to you? No, you can draw three more and go up to seven. So they've drawn six and dealt us twelve, or eight rather. That's a that's a good amount. That is fine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, that's problematic. I was hoping we could avoid that. If they didn't have a single, if they didn't have a one drop here, it would actually be in pretty cool shape. Hmm. 
Is it worth attending? If you enjoy it, I mean, it's, I think it's fine. I mean, I've done two so far, and I'm, I'd probably do another one. Uh, target creature can be blocked this turn. One, two, three, four. The problem is that, like, it, it, maybe we should have played this land last turn. I guess we can play this and frog. I guess I, I kind of want to just kill this, though. Can they deal five next turn? I don't know. Graveyard. I guess that's fine. Gain a life. Play Centipedio. Uh, attack with you, 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 and you. Keep up the Muse Drake. I don't want to be like burned out for four next turn or however many. All right. Oh my God, Gosman! This is this is too much. I can't. Good games. Won a match. Let's play another league. <laughs> oh my god. Sand seems great. I will keep it. Bounty agent, eh? Mm, bounty agent, eh? Well then. Alright, so it's either this on four or this on four. I don't like that suddenly no one can spell. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna. Are you both attacking? Oh, so you obviously have the trick. Mm, I see. Mm, I see. Okay, I'll bite. Pump it plus two plus two. You got it. I can't like I can't play around this all game, and I think this is better as a plus two plus two than it is a burn spell so that's fine yep give that dude float oh attack with both again well I'll be a biscuit still blocking you got another trick? So many tricks. No, we just trade. Oh, I like amused Drake here. More like amused Drake. <laughs> oh, if we tapped correctly, we could have played that guy too. That's sad. Well, they have two lands, so I'm feeling quite good about the way this game is going, as you might imagine. Uh, 
we'll play Fanti and Gildy. Gildy McGaterson. One spelling dollar. One spelling dollar. That's nice. I'll take it. I'll take it, Josh. Man, I can't wait till you guys start giving me deck critiques for Guilds of Ravnica. That sounds like good times. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could just play this guy for two. One, one, double strike, vigilance, trample arena. I feel like that's kind of a card I want to be able to shoot. I don't think it's really scary right now, though, interestingly enough. I think we just played this and Snitchums. And I'm going to pass. Like, if, if we attack for one, like, and they correct back for two when we go to 12, like, it's really not an ideal trade for us. No need to compliment me. I'm a master. Okay, well, they didn't... Oh my god, Hunter, stop. Why are you the way that you are? I kind of just want to kill one of these. Probably this guy. Doesn't have float. Still let's display House Guild Mage, which is nice. Like we just have to get something off the board. They're going a little wide here. Lazav seems very nice. Sleep Frog, not so much. We can put that in the graveyard because it makes the giant better. I'll keep the Lazav. Let's get in there with you. Maybe even you. Like, they can't, like, they'll have to double block here. We can trade with the Skyline Scout. That seems fine. I accept. Yep, that is what I figured you'd do. I'll trade a Skyline Scout for that guy. Look at this guy. Look at that beefy boy. <sighs> How do we kill this thing? Combo, one, two, three, surveil for two, and then we can undercity four to kill this guy. Give all the boys death touch. Is that good? Oh, graveyard you, top you. Let's go black and green. Yeah, this is fine. If they want to trade here, I'm okay with it. They did not. Yes, this is Patrick. And that guy is also sizable. How many creatures do we have in our graveyard? I wish it would say here. We got one, two, three, four. It's a good amount of damage. Uh, I don't care about either of these, quite honestly. I'll put them both in my Grave Yardo. 
blue and black, and we will resolve here. That can stay on top. That guy is going to be humongous. Humongous. You can go in. You can go in again. And that should be fine. Lazav is only our graveyard, right? It's our creature in your graveyard. Well, that's unfortunate. For a mythic, please. Put a counter on... Eh, put it on the 1-3 flyer. That'll do, pig. Yeah, this game, this deck seems better than the other deck, and it's funny because we have very few cards. I think we're playing all of our playables. That should give you some idea of of the power of the blue black cards in the set. I did they test these these combinations? I would even play Hypothesis if I had a a way to splash it. Other than like an is it lock it one is it lock it if we had any lands whatsoever I guess guild may just farm does it but it's not ideal I'm just gonna submit like this Ooh. uh this hand is good to start I don't know if we can like this guy's pretty expensive, and it's literally four four drops other than that. Oh, five drop two. They went to six, though. I'm going to keep it, because if we hit lands, I think it's fine. That was a good, that was a good draw. So what we can do, they can play, like, Tajik. Man, if only that was legendary. Okay, okay, I'm getting there. Living the dream, as it were. I will try to block, maybe, but that seems bad. Here we go. I think we're just going to take two here. All right. No play. Seems good. Old snitchy. If you have some money to spare, what are the best packs to buy? That's a good question. Um, I mean, it's easy now because there's it's easier now because there's only four sets in standard. I believe there's Dominaria, Ixalan Rivals, M19, and uh, Gills of Ravnica, so five. I'm not sure actually. That's a good question. It depends on if you're going for value, if you're going to try to get the most packs. That was a good draw. I'm almost tempted to Undercity the Uprising here, but then if they do have the one mana pump spell, it's pretty bad. Also, if that forest was a, a swamp, our Nightfell Predator would be online. That is fine. Now they're tapped out, so under city upri under city uprising feels pretty safe here. I also want to surveil so I can hit lands. I do not want another island. I kind of like Chemister's insight in the graveyard because we do want to hit. We actually want to hit um, swamps here. That's kind of like a swamp. So you and you. Get in there for one. Maybe they forget about the death touch and block. That'd be cool. They did not. They did not forget about the death touch, nor did they block. And we have Chemister's Insight in the graveyard, which is pretty nice value. <sighs> you know what? I'll take two. We have this surveil card. This makes a 4-4, four, four, which 
the only pump we saw, I think, was the plus two, plus two, the uh, split card. Wow, the double swift blade vindicator. That's a good. That's a good one. That's a solid one. This is a sorcery, so um, I'll keep both of these on top. I don't mind drawing this, and this lets us play the affectionate Indrik next turn. You can't attack yet, right? You gotta have three. All right. Well, that's fine. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're just way ahead right now. I mean, you guys, when you guys, uh, when you guys aren't playing Sultai, I really don't know why. It's, uh, yeah, just kill the flyer. And if we kill this, we get one point in, but the flyer's just better. Like the only the only thing that this kills is Lazav, and I don't really care about that terribly. Yep, that's fascinating. Might as well block here, right? Might as well. And this guy's going to deal zero damage currently. Solid, solid. You have to play, th play three spells to make this uh, to make this do a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll bite. How's the new set so far? Pretty good. I don't hate it yeah that was that was fine if you want to use this on uh yeah that's that's a two for one i'm more than willing to take um vigilance mentor sure so we can go to mirror locket into centipede or we can actually just discard the centipede i feel like it's just better to play the centipede here they're not blocking here so we might as well not attack with this guy and now Lutleth Giant at least deals two. Yeah, that's fine. Those guys were not clearly not blocking anyway, so. Take it. Let's see, that's a good uh, discard for the Chemister's Insight. I could see you double blocking here. And in that case, I will 100% take out the flyer. Sarcastron. Sarcastron. Have a good afternoon, buddy. See you around. Or maybe I won't. Who knows? Yep. They are at three. All Both of these guys are lethal. One, two, three, four. We'll discard a land, but we'll have still... Yep. All right. Wow, the Demir deck feels much stronger. We have not lost a game yet. However, the Boros decks uh, did seem to get mana screwed a little bit in those matches. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems fine. I will keep. Start with this guy. So we're playing now turn two, turn three. Turn four. Unless we hit like the floaty boy. You know the one, the 3-3 three, three floater. Hmm. 
That was not bad. This is actually nice because now we can play a three drop on turn three and then a three drop on turn four with the guild gate. Without an instant or sorcery in hand, we're just going to play this guy. I don't even know who Mike Frank is, Karakong. Get your life together. This guy and a guild gate. All right. Well, I feel like we're way far ahead again, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess depending on how you're looking at it. Sky Knight Legionnaire. This is like the fourth Sky Knight Legionnaire we played against. When is Tall Hat Mike coming back? Uh, he is in... at his home in New York, so probably not... terribly recently. I'm going to make this guy do the thing. Yeah, Nick's a good dude. I, uh, yeah, I miss Nick. How is Standard not live on MTGO? Like, isn't it live as soon as the set's out? Like, if I went to Play Lobby and I went to Constructed Tournaments and I clicked on standard is this not going to be this is very interesting if you really miss him why do you call him name well I, a, what, I don't know what name I called him B just because you miss somebody doesn't mean you're not going to call them names those are not mutually exclusive my friend I think we still win this race. This guy's just a two tier right now, which is pretty sad. I guess we'll get in there for five. This guy's problematic. We have a lot of removal that we just have not drawn. All right, if I can find a way to kill this guy, we are in glorious shape. How about the five mana remove, kill a dude, and surveil, or the two, or the four mana one? Any card that surveils really is what we're looking for here. That's that's not it. Hmm. 
none of these other creatures do anything for us. So we're not going to play them. We're instead going to go to five here and hope there's no, like, double strike card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yep, going to five. This card's not good, and I'm losing to it right now, which is pretty comical. I think if our black, if our Demir deck had more answers to a creature like just bouncing it, um, yeah, that's pretty okay. So now we're definitely bringing in the green card that destroys an enchantment or an artifact. Ugh, really? Come on. Next card is going to be the removal spell. Guarantee it. No. Okay. Well, I, I apologize for guaranteeing that. It was not my... Take out one spinal centipede. Oh, my God. That was so stupid. Losing a candlelight vigil. Come on. I think we find a draft six packs instead of three packs and call it a super draft. Um, I don't think it wouldn't be fun. I think you, you'd have some pretty busted decks, though. Do -do 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 -do. I think it would have to require it to be like a $50 card deck. 50 card deck. Yeah, that was definitely pre the Mike universe. The Yeah, there was a there was a reboot after that. And then uh and then the all the continuity changed. So Ugh. Oh, this hand really needs a blue. If we hit a blue, it's very good. I'm going to keep it because our odds of hitting blue are pretty high. Probably close to like one in four. That's not a blue. Okay. That's a green card. I think we have like most of the green cards in our deck here. We I think we're missing two. The green the other green creature and the card we boarded in. Yep. It's a land, I guess. That moment where you can't play your spells. Oh, all right. Blue, thank you. Mother of something. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm just going to play this guy. Four three? Sure. Sure. I'll take another blue. One more blue? Nope. Well, I want to hit a land, so we're gonna do a thing. Play this guy. 
Yep, that's not a land. Okay, we're doing well. To be fair, we've only missed one land drop, I guess. Probably going to block if they want to, because that's just a two for two if they want to attack. Unless you're just going to kill this guy too with the uh, three damage. Nope, just a four four vigilant guy. That is. Yep. 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 So we can play one of these and none of... I guess we can play Phantasm Under City Uprising. Thank you. Filk Money, 15 months in a row, man. Thank you so much. Welcome back. I have absolutely no idea what the play is here. We can only cast one of these. So not looking great for us for our, our round two. All right, let's just kill it. I mean, this guy's... Ah. Actually, it's probably this into this, right? Like, because this guy... If this guy... If we surveil once, this guy just gets bigger. And then we can actually block profitably here. Why isn't this an instant? This should be an instant. Hmm... All right, well. Filk Money, you are more than welcome to send me more Japanese candies and things. I would love to open more stuff on stream. That was actually super fun. And we've kind of been going through them slowly, so. Totally okay with that. I think we just have to play two, two guys. We could play two one threes and then like triple block here. But I think we want to start surveilling. Could play Lazav, but like the creatures in our graveyard are not great. Nope, that's not what we want to do. This guy. We can also, we can also block like with this guy and this guy and not care about the the incremental advantage from the the whispering snitch here. Yep, three cards. The odds of us getting blown out here are pretty high, but I don't think our odds of surviving without trying this are good either. If we put the if we put both these guys, they can just kill two of our best guys. I think this is probably the way to go. Any trick and they get to kill both of them. But if we draw land, we can actually kill this and also block. 
mean, they have to have something because that's just how that's just how this works. Yep. Never don't have it. Gain three, deal three. Every opponent has this card. Even though it's uncommon, they always have the card. Oh, it's a different one. I guess that's fine. Meh. What can you do? One land. It's actually not bad. We can also make this not untap next turn. That costs a blue, though, which means we can't do anything else this turn. <laughs> I probably actually just want to kill it. Um, Graveyard and Top Arena. All right. Well, we're not blocking, so might as well get in there. <laughs> All right. So we go to ten, and then we play Indrik. I think we can. I think we can come back here. I don't know. I think maybe. It's looking good. Lazav gets to copy something. Having Lazav and copying the Thoughtbound Phantasm, but also being able to uh, surveil here is pretty nice. And then we can copy any other guy as well. They have two cards in hand. We can Indrick one of them, if that's the thing we want to do. Oh, for f come on, dude. Kong with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Yes, let's use this ability. Oh, that's good stuff. I I agree that Lazav feels too fair, especially for a mythic. I'm like, I mean, since clone effects are very, very rarely mythic, but like, do we just two for one ourselves here? Like this card is, this is the third time I've come up against this card. Fourth time if you count the deck that had two of the minute, I guess. I'm not sure if that counts or not. Yep, we are 100% double blocking if you want to come at us. Like, the fact that you have to pay the cost, right? So, like, if your opponent gets rid of a 7-drop, you still have to pay 7. So, I don't know why, like, I feel like getting it out of either graveyard would also be fine, right? Because it's not like you're, like, like making your dislike. Even if I wanted to copy, like, a Wild Ceratok, it would still be a... I'd still pay 4 for it. I don't think that's super broken. What do we even have here? Whispering Snitch. So we can actually go land this guy, copy Snitch, and then start surveilling. Or we can actually copy the the Phantasm and start surveilling, which seems pretty good. Oh, with the trigger on the stack, we should have actually... I will keep that on top for sure. Uh, that was that was a misplay. We should have actually copied it with the trigger on the stack. Yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, no attacks here for obvious reasons. I'm playing a land here because... Um, seven lands is the max we want because that lets us cast everything. Plus, next turn, we're going to play... We're going to activate this for three. Uh, we actually need another black, not another island, unfortunately. So, you know, I guess that's not ideal. Hmm. We are at ten, huh? Did they just top deck the... Did they top deck a trick here? I feel like we can wait a turn to get our guy out. Oh. <sighs> 
I really don't want to go to four here. <laughs> oh my god, Karakong. That's pretty ridiculous, dude. Oh, man. So what, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they make it an eight, eight, we still lose two regardless. I think we just throw everything in front of this guy. Yep, those would be the ones I would choose as well. So we're definitely keeping the one guy on top. Put you on top, put you in the trash can. But now Lazov can copy something. Like it can copy this guy with the ability on the stack. We can change it into a phantasm. There's a lot of there's a lot of cheeky things going on with, with Lazov. But now he just I like that he gets counters, and we can actually use those counters with other creatures as well. Yep. Now we can't. <laughs> sure. This guy. And this guy. All right. Well. That's everything. Yeah, so they did have this in hand, actually. So if we only blocked with two guys, it would have been an utter blowout. That's actually not terrible. I'm going to assume you don't have a hasty creature. And if you do, we have Veiled Shade. We can block it if it really threatens us tremendously. Are we coming back? Don't call it a comeback. Is this game three or game two? I actually don't. Oh, boy. I guess we'll attack first. Surveil is not drawing us cards, so. No settle the wreckage here. One, two, three, four, five. Keep up two black in case we have to pump this guy. They can't just shock it in. Yeah, put you on top, put you on the bottom. Seems good. Yeah, they have lethal on board. I don't know how many creatures are in our yard. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't matter. All right, well. Oh, another Varox. Ferox? Voy Varenclex Forex? Whatever that thing is named. Nullhide Ferox? Clorox? Yeah, you know. Karakai, I like that you think Brian and I don't know each other. <laughs> That's good stuff. All, all of this is good times. We're having a good time. Uh, necrotic Wound actually might be worth it just because it does kill the... Yeah, we have the six creatures in our graveyard. Oh, God. That's so many creatures. Also... Nice use of Scrober there. That's nice. I think every other card I like, it's really kind of... <laughs> oh, the chat is on point today, guys. It is on point. What are we getting rid of here? Maybe this Leapfrog? Yeah, we'll get rid of a creature and add an undergrowth card. That's that's a solid strategy.
100 bits. Phil, come on. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is a definitely a keepable hand. This is nice. Of course, they didn't mulligan, so that makes me sad. All I want to do is mulligan. I got a feeling. Mulligans. That's a mulligan song. It's not a good one. Don't get me wrong. It's not a... It's not my finest work there. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Now we got the turn two, turn three, turn four drop up in here, boys. <laughs> Give this my greatest work of art. I will have it on my tombstone. Well, you said gravestone. I, I translated that to tombstone for some strange reason. I don't know why. Eh, I might as well attack first, right? If they want to flash somebody in and block, we can be like, no blocks. I don't know if that's a thing, but might as well not. Why well, risk it? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. Yeah, I also had a problem with the fact that Bobery was used to follow like a sober scrober. A scrober is a bober dad, right? But a bober is a sober scrober, but the scrober is the bober dad. So it's really kind of weird, man. The whole thing is very, very strange. <laughs> Once I got the biscuit. The other time, I did not. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, I think we've just won this game. I feel like that was pre that's a presumptuous thing to say, but I don't know. Our board's looking pretty good, and our opponent has been stuck on lands for two turns. At least one turn. They could hit the land this time. Well, that is fixing. And they hit a land off that? No. Magic is a cool game. Okay. Oh, that feels bad. So what we can do is go Demir Locket. God, we just do we do it? Do we just do this? Destroy this. I don't want you to have red, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All I want to do is win this match. I've got a feeling that we're going to 3 0. It's your boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are one man away from just deadly visiting that guy. Got a deadly visit for you. How many pump? I could pump this guy three times, so it's a five, five. I could just make them both unblockable as well. That's a two turn clock. If I ever saw one. JK, it's already unblockable. Is it worth putting the snitch out, or do I just pump this guy once? Probably just pump this guy once. Because then they have to... like Both of these are lethal now. You have to kill both of these, or both of these. If you kill just this, I can still make this unblockable and kill you with it. If you kill this, I can still kill you with this. So... Putting you to three is extremely relevant. And the old 3-0. We, we choose the, the Celestia guild. We 3-0 with the Demir guild. When we have a seated Celestia starter. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. That's the kind of support that I really appreciate. One dollar a month. One little dollar on Patreon. 
And uh, I posted two deck lists just this week alone for uh, Guilds of Ravnica Standard, so you can check those out. And I do, like, weekly, about weekly podcasts called Frank Thoughts on there, so you can check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.